वेलकम बैक एस्पायरिंग सजिटेनिस टू अवर कॉम्प्रिहेंसिव सीरीज ऑन बेसिक एंड एडवांस सूचिंग टेक्निक्स इफ यू हैव इन फॉलोइंग अलॉन्ग यू हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न सो मच अबाउट द आर्ट ऑफ सूचनिंग इन दिस पार्ट फोर वी आर डेल्पिंग इन टू द क्रिटिकल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ सूचनिंग दैट इज द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ सूचनिटल्स सो वेदर यू आर ए सर्जरी ट्रेनिंग जस्ट स्टार्टिंग योर सर्जरी जर्नी और यू आर ए सीजन प्रो Understanding the characteristic and application of these needles is essential for delivering the best patient care. But before we dive in, if you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss any of our valuable content on mastering the art of surgery. So let's start first with parts of needle. So ideally there are three factors which decide about the quality of a needle that is the alloy which uh, which is the material made of the geometry of the tip the body and its coating so uh, stay uh, tuned uh, friends as we unfold the different aspect of these uh, surgical needles so friend uh, this is a needle of uh, number 5 ethibond uh, ethibond this which is used in basically uh, thoracotomy surgery and uh, so uh, we will be talking more so uh, in future videos so this is one of the thickest material available number 5 made of polyester so the different parts of needle will be like the core length is from the swage end that is the uh, basically uh, suture end to the tip that is core length needle radius is straight perpendicular distance and needle length is basically total length of this curve so uh, if you uh, see carefully on this uh, leaflet of the needle same needle which we have depicted here so they are different characteristic and they have given the length that is 55 mm that is the total length of a shaft and different characteristic that it is a taper cut uh, the basically uh, this triangle inside the uh, circle is a triangle cut and this body and needle point as swage end so uh, just uh, this is for the introduction we will be uh, will talk more as the discussion evolves so hopefully part 1 part 2 part 3 you have already watched if not please do watch them before joining us here so before we delve into the exciting world of suture needles i want to take a moment to express my heartfelt gratitude to all of you our incredible youtube community across 60 countries we have viewers surgeon aspiring surgeons who are getting benefited from our contents So your overwhelming response and support to our previous video series have been nothing sort of amazing. For those who might be new here, let me quickly recap. In our previous video series, we covered wide range of essential topics tailored specifically for surgery trainees. We embarked on a journey together to master the art of suturing from the fundamental technique to more advanced uh, procedures. There is one important announcement uh, for all of you guys that uh, uh, the all the previous playlists are available on our uh, YouTube channel and on our app. So for better learning, as I said many times earlier, that please download the app. The app is available for Android and iOS, and uh, there are many free bonus content which are not available on YouTube. And for a better learning experience with the ad-free experience, please download the app and do get connected to us on our Telegram channel also for all the updates. So friends, for all practical reasons, all needles are made of stainless steel. basically uh, the there are basically three types of shapes available one is straight needle one is circular or part of the circle and another is j shape that is ski needle so uh, for all practical purpose the straight needle is not used anymore it is more of a historical significance only at presently we use circular needles only and the circular needle can be half circle three year circle Uh, basically five eight circle so uh, that depends how much part of circumference you are using so uh, basically uh, most curve needles that we use in general surgery or in gi surgery will be a uh, half, half circle or three by eight circle configuration the bigger configuration like five by eight need are uh, used basically in close cavity like in hemorrhoidectomy in vaginal surgery or in urogenital urogenital surgeries Uh, friends you can pause the video here and uh, i have shared the link to this 
table is uh, one uh, good uh, article i found over web so you can basically go through all these things uh, how the different uh, type of needles are used in which uh, part of the basically uh, surgical specialties so like quarter circle uh, they are uh, basically one four circle so uh, they are basically used fine scissors like eyelid surgery micro surgery so in general surgery ssb use mainly half circle so basically they are thicker tissue generally use like trunk abdominal muscle peritoneum and uh, 3 8 circle uh, 3 8 uh, will be again generally used like skin hand surgery facial curve the j shaped curve j shaped basically skin needles they are more used in the laparoscopic surgery so friends uh, do pause the video here and go through all these uh, uh, different type of uh, uh, basically needle shapes and where to use them if i stop uh, start reading all these things then the video length will become unusually long friend again i am using different company suture material for the purpose of description but i don't have any basically uh, any sponsorship from these companies so like this 60 needle basically this fine needle so the again just see it is 3 by 8 circle so it is, the smaller circle is there only basically 3 by 8 circle uh, the length is there the length is 8 mm and it's a round body so basically you see there's a circle with a large dot inside so it's a round body the body and uh, the tip is uh, blunt so it is just for the demonstration for you guys that there are different aspect of needle that smaller the needle basically finer uh, the suture material will it be like here we are using 60 Final circle uh, basically one four circle eye surgery three by eight half circle are uh, GIE urogenital CBS dura eye and HPV surgery five by eight circle basically used in anal uh, surgery like hemorrhectomy or vaginal surgery urogenital surgery where there is a lesser space to basically rotate the needle. Again, for historical aspect, uh, there are different type of the eyes of the needle like close eye, uh, there is a French eye, there is swaz dent. So friends, uh, for all practical purpose uh, in the present era, you will use only the swaz dent where this uh, thread is needled inside the shaft of the uh, needle body. It is close up view and here you can see that swaz end is basically narrower as compared to the body of the uh, needle so that is the whole purpose that we want to uh, if we use a open eye then the this uh, thread end will be uh, uh, broader and it will cause more tissue trauma so we want to keep the eye end to be narrow uh, as much as possible as i said uh, this swaz needles are atraumatic and eyeless needles like a traditional needle eye instead the suture material is directly attached to the needle reducing uh, tissue trauma and making them suitable for micro surgery and delicate procedures so uh, needle tip points and not me friends basically friends uh, these are uh, basically there are six types of needle point tip available that means be blunt point taper point taper cut needle conventional cutting needle reverse cutting needle and side cutting needle or spatula needle so we'll discuss uh, one by one all the needle points and it is important part of this video so that you understand where to use what and what are the advantage and disadvantage of one over the another first of all reverse cutting needle so there is a cutting edge on the convex side of the curve so the outer side of the needle there is a cutting edge so it penetrates tough tissue making them ideal for skin closure and procedure involving dense and or fibrous tissue so fibrous tissue so a friend just remember that reverse cutting needle and uh, basically traditional cutting needle these will be the one of the most common needle that you will get i mean uh, used to uh, during the initial part uh, surgical career uh, this is the close-up view of uh, a needle and basically there is a uh, triangular uh, section of the this uh, cutting edge and it is not the whole uh, basically length of the needle only uh, the last part usually one third part is where there is a cutting edge the rest of the part will be normal flattened surface so uh, just understand that there is a cutting edge uh, basically uh, towards the outer side and so this is tough tissue like tendon sheath and skin so but uh, again understand as you take the curb of the needle so there is a cutting edge towards the outer side so uh, as you pass the needle through the tissue so there is no cutting edge towards the basically bone margin so there is a lesser tear of the tissue 
so as far as the coding is concerned uh, this is the uh, 20 silk suture and this will be a reverse triangle so the cutting edge is toward the outer side and as i said you have to uh, see that uh, the cutting edge is not the whole it is not cutting edge it is only the last part usually the one third circumference part of the length of needle is cutting edge rest is normal flattened and again the 45 mm written here is the length of the needle shaft and 3 by 8 is the circle uh, part of the circle uh, re, uh, this uh, length they have used uh, in this needle so the next most common needle that you will use will be the uh, basically uh, conventional cutting needle in the conventional cutting needle the cutting edges towards the concave side that is the inner side of the needle so as you have to understand that as you pass the needle through the suture then the cutting edge is basically towards the bone margin so uh, there is possibility of tearing or tissue damage here uh, the leaflet is same the needle which i have so, uh, shown here there is a number one silk so uh, this is the here you can you see that there is a triangular uh, shape uh, basically this logo over the needle uh, which is basically showing that it, the cutting edge is toward the concave inner side and as i said earlier in case the reverse cutting this is a, the triangle will be reverse so again 60 mm is the shaft length and 3 by 8 is the circle uh, circumference they have used and this is a conventional cutting number 1 silk suture Uh, there is no i mean i have not received any kind of sponsors sponsorship from any of these companies these uh, sutures are basically for description purpose only and uh, these demo uh, basically needles uh, were the pics which i clicked during one of the conference of uh, johnson and johnson due to the uh, edges on the conventional side needle is towards the concave side so uh, toward the incision or toward the bone so these are avoided for tendons reconstruction and oral mucosa because uh, they can easily tear it out in friends uh, all the material and all the videos which we upload are not available initially as a free to watch videos because see, some of these videos are for members only and uh, some are available on our app and uh, as i said do download our app available for android and ios and do join the telegram group the link for same is available in description and the pinned comment section of this video needle is blunt point needles <clears throat> the tip of blunt point rounded body needle because it the all blunt point uh, these needles are round body only one will be taper point one will be taper cut and one will be blunt point so a blunt point needles are round body needles completely blunt to minimize unintended injury to viscera and surgeon's hand during abdominal wall closure as it dilates rather than cut through the tissue so it is simple logic that the tip of the needle is blunt rounded so it it will it will simply separate the tissue in front of the tip and will not cut it or will not pierce it these needles are basically used during the surgery on very delicate tissue like maybe spleen liver or kidney where basically we want to avoid the injury as we insert the needle it should not injure any other vital any other vital structure and uh, uh, so there is a minimal collateral damage basically blunt point will dilate its path rather than cutting it next taper point needles the again these needles have a sharp point but uh, basically it gradually the the body as i said all these needle has a, a round body so the round body gradually tapers to a point sharp point uh, uh, so there is a gradual tapering these are very versatile and commonly used needle in general surgery including soft tissue and gi procedure and uh, basically they are more precise and there is a minimal tissue trauma one is basically uh, uh, for demonstration purpose the taper point needle for you guys here you can uh, appreciate that the tip of the needle is basically whole round body and then uh, this gradually tapering to a point so there is a gradual decline in the diameter of the needle this is basically uh, uh, 30 uh, basically taper point needle and this is the uh, symbol they use so there is little confusion because some company use different type but it is written here uh, taper point so there are two needles that means this suture is double uh, arm there is a needle out on the both the ends 
and the length of needle 31 mm there is a half circle of the length is basically half circle next is side cutting point needles believe you me uh, some of these needles i learned while preparing this video because these are not routinely used and i could not get my hands on on all the needles basically for the purpose of demonstration and if you have used any of these needles like side cutting or the skin needle do share the description and information in the comment section or in the uh, chat option on the app see there is a cutting edge along sides of the needle shaft and these needles are flat on both top and bottom and basically they eliminate undesirable tissue cut out of other needles and uh, basically used in surgery on scleral or corneal tissue so basically in ophthal surgery they are used and uh, i have not used them and even i have not seen these needles personally and uh, because they allow the needle to split through the thin layers and travel within these plane uh, between them another important needle that you will come across is taper cut needle so this is the uh, taper cut needle uh, which i discussed uh, before also that is a number 5 suture ethibond used during the thecotomy uh, surgery basically and we have already uploaded a uh, open thecotomy videos do check that out and uh, so this is number 5 and there is a basically uh, round circle and in between which there is a triangular uh, basically tip so round circle tang this uh, demonstrate this there is a Uh, basically uh, uh, taper cut needles thread is one of the strongest thread that is polyester ethibond and maximum size you, i think you will get will be number 7 and this is number 5 taper cut needle is very versatile needle friends and although it is designed for use in scleroretic and calcified tissue in cardiovascular surgery it is commonly used in hard fibers uh, fascia which is difficult to penetrate so it it penetrates with ease and further there is no damage because the rest of the shaft is uh, round body so that brings us to the end of this video and friend just remember every stitch you make brings you one step closer to the mastery embrace the challenge embrace the journey and become the skilled surgeon you aspire to be don't forget to like subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content we'll be back soon and do download our app and join the channel membership Uh, or uh, download the app and join the telegram group the link for everything is available uh, in the description of this video and just remember the all the contents we are uploading is not uh, basically available uh, as a free content some of these contents are paid content also so that we can sustain this initiative so uh, do get connected to us on uh, our different platforms keep refining those skills friends and until next time happy suturing